Remember how I said magnetic fields create a force on a moving charge? Well, where else you can get moving charges? Current, of course. If you have current flowing in the wire, there's lots of moving charges inside that wire that is moving, and that will feel force. And collectively, that will basically create a force on the wire itself. Do a sim little simple derivation, you'll find that we can relate what we had before, which is QVB sine theta. We can convert that to current by simply changing it very slightly. So this is the current, that's the length of the wire inside the magnetic field, and the angle is still there and available. So that's the size of the magnetic force. In terms of direction, we do it in a very similar fashion as before. Because we've defined I, conventional current, to be moving of positive charges. So that basically takes the same place as our QV, right? We once again employ our expensive professional hand model. And now show you that the thumb, instead of QV, is just I. Because I, whichever direction I goes in, that's the flow of the positive charges. And so we just do that. Your index finger is still your B. And then your, and then your magnetic force is still given by your middle finger direction. So let's go through this, except that this time they are not telling us the B instead. Though we still assume that it's perpendicular because of course the this angle here could be anything, but we're going to assume it's nice and perpendicular to keep our lives a little simpler. Starting with part A we have current going up, so our thumb goes straight upwards. And in order for us to have my middle finger going to the left, your hand must look like this, which must mean that your B has to be into the page. For part B, we need our thumb pointing downwards with the I my middle finger going into the page. And so as I lay my index finger flat, it's going to point to the right. Oops, I mean to the left. Last but not least in part C, thumb goes to the left for our force to go upwards. So I have to point my palm and my middle finger up that means my index finger is going to be pointing straight back at us, looking like this, giving us out of page. So the same rule as before, just instead of explicitly giving you a particular charge particle go in a particular direction, we simply have the current, which we assume to be flowing of positive charges. So that's gonna give the same direction as our thumb. Using the same right hand rule, we work out all the direction as before.